on the urban loop in Greensboro. It's a problem one of our state representatives has gotten hundreds of complaints about from people who live in neighborhoods along the highway. We've also seen dozens of people complaining about it online. Yeah, tonight, Fox 8's Caroline Boyer dug into just how loud it really is. The Parker's once quiet backyard is no longer the peaceful oasis they spent so much time and money creating. It is disappointing because we do, uh, en I enjoy being outside and, uh, and outside all the time. So it is uh, a, a little less uh, enjoyable when uh, there's just a lot of noise. Every day of the week they hear it. It gets louder at peak travel times and on weekends. On a scale of one to 10, I would call it about an eight. Trisha and her husband have been living in their home on Middlefield Court for 15 years. In 2019, crews cleared out the trees behind their house and built the urban loop. Now they hear this when they step out their back door. Didn't quite expect it to be as close to us as it is. Didn't really think that we would hear it as much as we do. I used an app on my smartphone to test the decibel levels at the Parker's home. Their house is separated from the urban loop by several hundred feet and a brick wall. At about six o'clock, the noise was on average 52 decibels, peaking at about 58 when a loud car came by. The North Carolina Department of Transportation defines that as moderately loud. When I stood about 100 feet off the urban loop at 630 Friday evening, that number peaked at 86 decibels when a loud car drove by. By NCDOT standards, it's in the loud category. There are sound barriers along the urban loop, which provide relief for some neighborhoods. An NCDOT study and federal highway guidelines determined where those were needed. When I put my phone behind one, the decibel level dropped from the 80s to the mid-60s, about a 15 decibel difference. They work, but the noise is a nuisance. I, I can't even imagine what it's like to have those massive trucks thundering down the highway at 2 a.m. And, and waking up um, and young children. Or, it just, it just seems to be problematic. Pricey Harrison represents Guilford County in the State House and has heard the complaints for years. I'm not sure if there's a solution. I Unfortunately, I wish there was something that could be done. I don't know what that would be at this point. A North Carolina Department of Transportation spokesperson says there are no plans to build any more sound barriers along this project. All areas that met the criteria for these sound barrier walls already have them. Trees have been planted along some stretches to provide barriers.